E to the, B to the, O to the, N to the, A. A. What's up, YouTube family? How are you doing, my dreamers? As you know, this is E with Dream with E. Welcome back to my channel. So you saw the title. You already know why you're here. We're going to talk about why we dream. Why do we dream? Why? Por qué? Why? <laughs> So that's what we're here to talk about. Before we get started, let me just cleanse this space a little bit. We are gonna pull a tarot card again, just to see if that can give us some guidance as to what's going on in these ethers. The last card, that was crazy how that came up, cosmic waves, we're talking about dreams, it's the cosmos. It's all, it's all connected, you guys. It's all connected. I have this beautiful deck here. It is from Miss Blue. She's an oracle, psychic, and I have her deck here. Work with this deck a lot, and uh, yeah, it's actually very informative. So how you been doing? Comment down below how you been doing. How have your dreams been? What have you been dreaming about? Talk to me. People talk to me. I want to know. I need to connect with you, okay? We need to, you know, get it popping in the dream world. <laughs> so comment below about any dreams that you may be having, how you're doing, how you're feeling, where you're from, where you're at, all of those things. All the things, all the things coming below. It's all making sense now. Okay, so last time I wasn't on camera, but this is how I do my deck. I'm going to lay some out here and I will show you. Split it up, lay them out. So we have them all laid out. And we're going to pick. Let's actually do this. Which one we picking? Which one, which one, which one? We gonna pick from one of these. You guys tell me, which one do you want me to pick? This one? All right. So we pick this one and, and we're black, we're back. All right, so we pick this one. So you know what to do already? Y'all already know what to do? Which one we picking? Let me just get these cards spread out. Okay, which card are we picking, y'all? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like this one. So let's see what it is. What does that say? Shoe and, and tough nut. Shoe and tough nut. Okay, and it says enlightenment imagine reflections let's just go ahead and read a little bit about what that really that means from the card's perspective so it says this card reminds you of the duality of human nature now is the time to reflect on the past and trust the present in order to move forward into the future wow so why do we dream hmm enlightenment we dream for enlightenment. Um, imagine our imaginations. Our imaginations can create everything. And as you know, this is a metaphysical world. So what we can imagine, we can create. Reflections. Do we dream to reflect upon the things that are going on in our life, the patterns that we have, the emotions that we have? It's a point in time to reflect on that. Hmm. Y'all, spirit is with us. We cannot make this up. We cannot make this up, tribe. So, wow. Let's just take a moment to resonate on that for a second. Like, to be enlightened by our dreams, to have our imagination sparked. We dream to have reflection, to be reflective. What's going on in our life? I keep having these, these terrible dreams. What's going on? So that's something to really think about when we're dreaming and the things that we dream about. Let's start to connect what's happening in our reality, our waking reality, to what... Ugh, scam likely just messed me up. 
But anyway, so let's start to reflect on that because that is, that's, that's a lesson right there. That's a message, right? Message, message. That's a message right there. So why do we dream? Why? I know everybody wants to know that's why you're here. Well, guess what? We don't know. We don't know why we dream. <laughs> and when I say we, scientists, it's still largely unknown why we dream and even why we sleep. We sleep because scientists and researchers say that it's the time that our body goes to rest and it's able to uh, re 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 recuperate. Can I get it out? It's, it's time for our body to recuperate from the stress that we put it through to the day. It's a restorative period. You know, when we're resting, when we're sleeping, our conscious is locked down. And so our body is able to focus on our systems, our heart, our, our digestion, our circulatory system, all of our sensory systems. And basically, we sleep to help restore those systems. That's what they say. But why do we dream, right? Dreams can often be like feelings. They can be images. They can be emotions, um, thoughts stories that occur in your sleep, right? Dreams are stories that occur in your sleep. And some people say it's just a byproduct of, of everything that's in our mind. And we dream to kind of like our mind is clearing out uh, information that we don't need. That's what some people say, that our mind, when we dream, we're clearing out information that we don't need. So our brains can only store so much information and dreaming is a way to get rid of the clutter they say right um most dreams are very imagery they have a lot of visuals and imagery but they could also include five your five your, uh, all of your five senses so that's smelling that's touching that's hearing that's seeing obviously so how is it that we're able to do all of this while our bodies are asleep how is it that our mind is able to produce touch our mind is able to produce, and not even our, well, our mind, our subconscious is able to recreate smells. How many of you guys have had like smells in your dreams? You walk into some place and you're like, mmm, it smells good in here. When I, whenever I have dreams about the mall, I'm always sniffing perfumes, colognes, and I can physically, in my dreams, smell what that smells like. That's incredible. Your nose, your olfactory system, is actually shut down, right? Because we're sleeping. So your olfactory system is not actively, but in our minds, in our dreams, our olfactory is initiated. Like, it is amazing, it is amazing. So I took a couple of notes so we could stay on track here. So as we know, it's a largely unknown why we dream. Um, everyone dreams, everybody dreams. Even if you don't remember your dreams, you're dreaming, hunty. You are dreaming, hunty. <laughs> so even if you don't remember your dreams, you're a dreamer. Um, dreams are images, thoughts, feelings, stories that occur, obviously, during our sleep. Um, like I said, most are visual imagery, but all five senses can show up. Dreams happen involuntarily. How many of you guys go through life maybe having terrible dreams and you're like, I don't wanna dream tonight. I'm so afraid of what might come up in my dreams. It's gonna be involuntary. And actually, the more you think about dreaming and the more you think about something you don't want to happen, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So instead of being afraid to sleep because you're having terrible dreams, or instead of being like, apprehensive of what your dreams are gonna be for it, what your dreams are gonna be like that night, you can start to take action and take your power back and figure out why you might be having horrible dreams. All natural juice dim. I got it from my brethren. <laughs> um, so you can start figuring out what is going on? Why Why are you having these type of dreams? We've already talked about that before. In another video, we will solely talk about nightmares, why they occur, how to get rid of them. Um, dreams always happen in our point of view. So that's another interesting thing. We are always the point of view. It always comes from what we see. But however, I like to say, it is from our point of view, very sometimes abstract and just irregular, sometimes illogical. Like, 
the dream I had with Mario and Luigi and all those people in the ocean and they were like super sized, big, as tall as like as high as where planes fly. That's illogical. Why am I dreaming about that? What does it mean? If you've seen that before in your dreams, you know what to do. Comment below so we can talk about it because these things we definitely need to talk about and figure out what is going on. Um, so another thing, the people that show up in our dream, I call them the extras. Who are they and why are they there? So my theory, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a psychologist. I did study psychology, but you know, I guess I'm a self-study type of person. I study a lot of things. My theory, you guys already know this, is that the people who show up in our dreams, I call them the extras. They are either people that we've seen in the world. We may know them, we may not know them. People that we've seen walking down on the street. Anytime our eye sees a person, I feel like they take an imprint of them. And then these people show up in our dreams. Like we begin interacting with them in our dreams. And they're just extras. They're there to help the story along. Are they there to extract information from? They're there to kind of like whatever you want them to do. If you have answers, talk to them. Uh, I also think that they are people in our dreams that live in a different multiverse. I know this sounds completely crazy if you're not into this kind of stuff. This may sound very crazy, but there are such things as multiverses. Just get into that. Just accept that there's multiverses out there. This ain't the only earth out there. <laughs> and I think that sometimes when we're traveling these different realms in our sleep, those are the people that live in these other multiverses. So that is my theory. Um, dreams always provoke an emotion and it's our major emotions, happy, sadness, fear, anger. You're going to feel one of those things in your dreams, right? You're gonna, it's not, you're not just in a dream with no emotion. Your dreams always carry a lot of emotion. Why? Is there something going on in your waking life? Those are questions that we can always ask ourselves. The why, the why, the why. Or maybe you've turned a stone and you're just extremely positive and you're vibrating really high in your waking life. And then your dreams all of a sudden open up to you. They open up and you can be elated and feel so much happiness in a dream and carry that happy energy with you when you wake up. Um, so in our dreams also, some waking life things do show up. If we're having issues in our waking life, if we're struggling with something, if we're having to have a hard conversation with someone we don't know how to have it, sometimes these things will show up in our dreams and vice versa. That's some, that's precognition, we'll get into that. But if you're having an issue or if you need help with something, you can rely on yourself in your dreams to kind of point you to the right way, how to handle the situation in your waking life. And how you do that is before you go to bed and throughout the day, you think about the issue that you want resolution to. Um, I don't know, I have a roommate and I have to tell my roommate that I don't like when they drink or eat my leftover food. And it's really hard for you to have this conversation because maybe communication is not your thing. Am I talking to myself? I am I talking to myself? <laughs> so maybe communication is not your thing. You can tell yourself, kind of uh, initiate your subconscious to help you with this throughout the day saying, okay, how do I have this conversation? Practice how you wanna have the conversation and then say in my dreams, tell me in my dreams like how to have this conversation. I want my dreams to help me break through this and help me figure out how I can have this conversation. And then in your dream, all of a sudden you're in a dream, you're talking to your roommate and you're like, you give yourself the courage to, to say what you have to say. You give yourself to get over these um, heels and hiccups that we have in our lives. Our dreams are there to help us, you guys. Honestly, we're not utilizing them enough. We are not utilizing our dreams, which is our power and our talents enough. Um, so another reason why dreams can happen is to build memory, especially in babies and toddlers and children. Sometimes they'll dream 
um, about things that, that are happening. Children are sponges, they're learning, you know, their minds are very, very active. So for an infant, if you're, you know, teaching them how to feed and things of that, of that stuff, they'll dream about that so they can start to learn about the things that are going on like in real life and it, it's, a, it's building their memory. When mommy pulls out TT, <laughs> I'm gonna eat, you know? So they dream of eating or they dream of words and things of that nature being talked to, stimulations, things that are going to help them build their memory and help them understand this new world that they've just come to. Um, so that's another reason why scientists, psychologists, um, specialists ha say that we dream. Um, sleep study specialists, they often are able to put you up to these electrodes in electricity. And when your synapses are all going off like that, they can see when you're in REM and even they're building technology, you guys, to bring the pictures of our dreams, what we're seeing in our mind. So they're building technology to read those synapses and to read the things going on in our subconscious. Stay with me. <laughs> to read the things going on in our subconscious while we're dreaming and then put them in pictures so they can see what you're dreaming. That is so weird, that is so cool. It's so invasive. And why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? You all seen Inception, you know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. So just always keep, actually, always keep your third eye open when it comes to all of this stuff. Um, like I said, dreams are another way to process emotion. Dream it about it process it, work it out through your dreams, figure it out, bring that information over into your waking life. Um, so I, also a byproduct, we spoke about that, which I think is very strange. I don't know the capacity of what your mind can hold, but to think that your mind is actively clearing out room uh, for you to learn new information and store new information. So dreams are just like getting that out of the way that's kind of, that's an interesting thought. I would look more into that. That's an interesting thought because sometimes we can't even remember our dreams and it's like, well, why do I have it if I can't remember it? <sighs> On average, we dream two hours a night. Our best dreaming is done in REM. So we can dream in any sleep state, but the best dreaming where it gets the most visual and abstracty and just like you, you just in there just dreaming, that's in REM sleep. And, um, it would be nice if you could get two hours of, of, of REM sleep just dreaming. But um, our dreams are most vivid, fantastical, and bizarre in, in, in uh, REM. And again, my theory on that is just because we're visiting other worlds. Our body is now asleep so much that our systems and everything like that, our mind is able to not think about all the stuff that happens in our waking life that now we're so deep in our sleep that we can travel now. We can go off, we can let everything go, let all of our stress go, let all of the, the, the things and the tasks that we have go, and we can travel. So I do believe that we travel to those other worlds in, in multiverses. If you've traveled to a multiverse or another world, comment below. I want to hear your story. Don't leave me hanging on this. Don't leave me hanging on it, okay? All right, do dreams have meaning? What do you guys think? I'm listening. Do dreams have meaning? Yes, sis, yes they do. <laughs> so yes, it's a controversial topic. And like I said, sleep therapists, psychologists, and other scientists, they debate about this all the time. Some scientists think, no, these, they have no meaning. They mean nothing. You just have them. It's a byproduct, whatever. And other scientists and, and sleep therapists think, wait a minute. Yes, they do mean things and they can mean things. Um, so a lot of people think that, that dreams provide insight to your psyche. So like therapists and psychologists, they ask you if a person is in therapy and under treatment and in treatment, they may ask you about your dreams and that helps them actually kind of get a little bit more into your psyche, the things that you're dreaming about. I believe that dreams obviously come with messages. Not all of them are gonna come with messages, but some. And an example to that is, 
for a while, for a really, really while, I was, for a long while, I was very sick, suffering with um, extreme mental illness in, as far as anxiety. Uh, my anxiety was out, out of control, out of this world. I had um, obsessive compulsive thoughts, intrusive thoughts, and it was really eating me up inside. Like, I couldn't function. I could not function. But I'm better now. Your girl is better now. She healed herself, okay? Um, and in my dream, I got this message about this uh herbal remedy that I needed for myself to heal myself, to heal myself from, sorry guys, uh, uh, this herbal remedy that I got for myself to, to heal myself. So uh, some of my systems were off. I didn't have enough fats in my diet. So my brain wasn't getting fed and I was just being attacked by these thoughts and this anxiety and this worry. And one night I went to bed and I had a dream and I met this woman and a beautiful, beautiful woman. She had these clothes on, they were so colorful. She had all this fruit and herbs and everything, all nature, sitting out in front of her. And I came up to her and I was talking to her and she said, I know what you need. And in my mind, I'm like, well, what do I need? So she gave me a remedy of four herbs and four fruits, put them together and take them. I did it. I woke up. I wrote it down because that was a message. So I did it. And that combined with a lot of other self-care, self-love, a lot of other figuring out what, what my body was lacking and feeding myself with natural foods and herbs and just everything from earth. I healed myself. Okay. I healed myself. So that was a message from dream. That was a message. Had I ever seen that lady in my life? Never, ever. Where was I? I was somewhere else, you guys, getting treatment, okay? I was somewhere else. So dream types, they could be vivid, lucid, nightmares, recurring. Uh, the themes are often where flying, falling, um, having to go to the bathroom are being chased. Have you guys had dreams like that? Having to go to the bathroom, being chased, you're flying, you're falling, you're running, something like that. Or you're just chilling, you're just hanging out. Once you start to rebalance yourself, your dreams are actually gonna become a lot less scary, a lot less frightening, a lot less out of control, and you're gonna have more control. Um, so comment below if you guys have ever received any messages in your dreams before that you took to heart and did what, what, you, what you were told to, what happened, let me know. And uh, your dreams, let me know, are you running? Are you having to go to the bathroom? You being chased, all of that. If you have to go to the bathroom in a dream, don't do it, don't ever do it, don't ever do it. Don't ever do it. I'm sure you've done it before and we all know what happens and nobody's gonna shame you for that we ain't gonna shame you if you accidentally peed a little in your sleep <laughs> how are you supposed to know you somewhere else we're not going we're not gonna shame you you know if you had to wake up and take a little hot shower because you thought she was going to the bathroom on the pro in the proper areas <laughs> It happens. You guys, we are all humans, and that's what this channel is about, talking about stuff that happens to us in real life, not being shamed about it. So you will not be shamed on this channel. <laughs> this is a human experience that we're all living, and we don't talk about it. We don't talk to each other enough because we have so many commonalities, and we're all going through a lot of the same things, and if we all just sat around and figured it out, life would be so much better. Life would be great. Uh, can your dreams affect your sleep? Yes, they can affect your sleep in a way if your dreams are nightmare, if they're so troublesome that you don't want to go to sleep and then you develop sleep issues and that, that you know, develops into insomnia. So anytime you are having sleep issues due to dreams, it's time to release it down with yourself, get out a journal and, and figure out what's going on in your waking life. What are you stressed out about? What's happening? and get it out get it out and then if you practice lucid dreaming you could stop those dreams from being so fearful and change up the whole situation change up the whole situation 
you guys that is it for your girl um that's it we did it you know we here video five talked about why we dream comment below all the things we discussed today i want to know you guys are my tribe and thank you so much for being here and as you know you know how we do it we end it all with everything is love and love is everything go out there folks love yourself love each other peace